So today we're going to talk about submitting insect samples to the Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostic Lab, uh, affectionately referred to as PDIDL. And um, basically we want to have insect samples arrive that are in um, relatively one piece, intact, um, so that we can correctly identify them. Uh, our preferred method for receiving uh, shipped insects for identification purposes um, are in some sort of vial. Um, you can find any kind of vial um, from household items. You could purchase these from the store or online. Um, but some of the things that come in handy include um, old film canisters and um, little jars with a screw, tap, uh, screw type lid and, um, and other types of snap-on type vials that we can, that we can find. Uh, keep in mind that insects should be preserved in some kind of preserving fluid. We're usually talking um, ethanol uh, or rubbing alcohol. And we want to make sure that we're not exceeding a one fluid ounce capacity in that vial with that insect because uh, the U.S. Postal Service will not accept uh, anything above one fluid ounce um, in terms of flammable materials like alcohol. Uh, another alternative you could try uh, with insect uh, preservation is uh, a one fluid ounce sample of hand sanitizing solution that, that does have alcohol in it. Um, it also provides a little extra cushion since it's not exactly a, uh, a liquid. It's kind of in between a liquid and a solid. Um, gives a little extra packaging um, uh, protection um, as it's being shipped. Uh, so again, we want to receive that insect intact, not in pieces. So things that we should not do include putting an insect uh, between a piece of tape and on a piece of paper. Um, that oftentimes will squash an insect flat. We can't see key features to identify that insect. Uh, rolling up insects into paper tubes, uh, letting them loose inside of various containers or an envelope. Um, these are ways that the insects can be damaged and again, uh, they lose those uh, diagnostic features if, um, if they're damaged. Uh, also, I want to remind uh, viewers that uh, we can accept uh, digital images that are of high quality and high resolution. And um, all of these preparation materials, both taking the images and packaging and sending your insects, uh, that information is available in an extension publication. So we want to encourage viewers to, uh, to use this resource that the PDIDL provides. Um, and alternatively, uh, you can submit your insect samples or your damage or your plant concerns uh, to your uh, local county extension office, and, and they can submit to the PDIDL lab for you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.